Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to No Limits Wrestling. Still to come tonight is our main event. It is Sting going one-on-one -on -one with the NWO's Rose newest recruit, Shawn Michaels. Earlier tonight, we've seen already the NWO causing havoc throughout this company and Sting trying to put a stop to that. He couldn't put a stop to AJ Styles, however, last night at the Royal Rumble, but hopefully he's going to avenge his loss and get a victory over Michaels here tonight. But Michaels is also looking for the victory, considering he was assaulted by the man he betrayed at the Rumble, Triple H. So it's going to be an interesting dynamic for our main event. But speaking of an interesting dynamic, here is the man who last night successfully defended his X Division Championship. That man is Austin Aries. And you've got to believe that his leg is still going to be sore after having it assaulted by Christopher Daniels following that contest. He did get revenge on Daniels, however, later on in the Rumble matchup by eliminating him. But you can see he's still holding that leg. But there you see also he is proud to be X Division Champion still. And now he is waiting for his opponent. And Aries, as we've mentioned, he's not going to be 100%. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh my god! That's... What the hell? That's Rob Van Dam! Oh my! Where you want to talk about the Royal Rumble last night? This guy! The whole damn show! Debuted! And a five-star frog splash! Just taking it to Aries! And well... Well, there you go, there you see, a picture is worth a thousand words. And that is exactly what just happened. And remember what happened at the Royal Rumble last night. Even with that busted leg, Austin Aries was still able to eliminate Rob Van Dam. And Rob Van Dam have been in that matchup since number two, since the start. So he's obviously in a hell of a mood. He's seriously pissed off and now gets re re revenge and signals he wants to challenge for that X Division Championship. What a matchup that I could be. I cannot tell you how sorry I am. Oh my God, Sean, I just... We shouldn't have milked it. That's the problem. We shouldn't have milked it. We should have just gone out there, made you number one contender and stopped this entire damn situation. And now CM Punk is facing AJ Styles for the World Title of Havoc. He signed the contract, there's nothing I can do. In fact, I, <laughs> the loopholes I put in there, specifically designed to stop any other challenges emerging, have backfired on me yet again. Well, the Knights, it's not completely lost. We, we, hey, we unveiled you, yeah? Hey, we attacked The Undertaker, that's something. And later on tonight in our main event, you are going to defeat Sting, all by yourself. Now, you seem sure that you don't want me out there, and you don't want the NWO out there, and that's fine, I'll let you do your thing. But just know that we are back here, and if anything goes wrong, we will be right out to the ring, okay? We've got your back. And as for that bastard Triple H, Nash, Show, and Truth, they're looking for him right now, okay? Don't worry about him attacking you again. Just focus on your match against Sting tonight. Hey, look at me. Make your first day as an NWO member memorable. Good luck tonight, man. Well, Shawn Michaels getting words of encouragement, but I don't think that's going to be enough. Still obviously sore from being beaten up by the game. But he's got to go up against Sting later. And Sting is hungry for a win. Nevertheless, shifting our focus now to tag team action. And here we see the filthy animals. Didn't have a great night at the Royal Rumble last night, first of all. Billy Kidman was eliminated early. So was Chavo. And Hernandez was eliminated as well. And to add it to the entire situation, Sin Cara lost the Hardcore Championship. But right now, they are competing in tag team action and it appears that Sin Cara has joined the Filthy Animals but here we see the debut of a brand new team here in NLW we told you there'd be new wrestlers entering as the road to Wrestlemania began and now the Filthy Animals are coming up against them so Billy Kidman and Sin Cara are here teaming up for the first time but obviously they have never seen Finley and Regal as a team here in NLW. In fact, we've never even seen Finley here in NLW before. We've seen Regal before, but this is the first time that they're really in a spotlight. And right now, they could stake a major claim to becoming number one contenders to the Tag Team Championships with a winner of the Filthy Animals, and vice versa, in fact. And now you can see Sin Cara working on Finley and the tough Irishman going to work. And these two guys from the UK now trying to use their wrestling prowess and decades of experience to their advantage, but he still couldn't avoid that, and he certainly couldn't avoid that drop kick. 
Sin Cara, drop kicking Finlay, and now Billy Kidman One, with a two. moonsault maneuver, and Finlay kicks out. And it's going to be interesting to see how these two brawlers really fare in this matchup. After all, oh my God, well you see there the aggressive style of Finlay, and now in comes the man from Blackpool, William Regal. And don't let those marks on his body fool you. That is not damage. That is experience. But that experience didn't help him from avoiding that boot. Here you see Kidman on the second rope and delivering an axe handle to the back of the head. And the debut of this team taking on the filthy animals here. And now, oh my god! Reverse Hurricane Rana and dropped him right on his head but fiddly in. And illegally breaking up the pin. And Finley using the dirty tactics and now you can see William Regal here they are not here to win fans over that's for sure they're here to win championships and win accolades and that's exactly what they plan on doing here in their debut match as a team and let's not forget this is the first time that Sin Cara and Billy Kidman are teaming together as well but they are also very familiar with each other considering that they are you know now in the filthy animals at least Sin Cara is after they helped him win the hardcore title but obviously losing the hardcore title last night at the Rumble but now here you see William Regal putting the stretching on him but now the Hurricane oh, I'm sorry the arm drag but now Finley tagged in immediately and preventing him from getting to his partner and Billy Kidman on the other side desperately trying to will his partner on and trying to will Sin Cara to make the tag Sin Cara has not had a great week he would really like to pick it up right now but Finley running into the turnbuckle and now tags in Billy Kidman and Kidman punching his way right out of the situation by attacking Finley and now the Hurricane Rana leg scissors as well but I think that Finley may have made the tag and I think he did and now William Regal is the legal man and the Northern Lights suplex and a cheap kick but a flush kick nonetheless driving right into the face could have broken his oral bone and now the illegal double team tactics William Regal tries to, but attacks Finley instead. And now the Hurricane Rana armbar. And here is the cover by Sin Cara. And the United Kingdom team was unsuccessful in their debut. Well, the experience didn't translate in this matchup here. It is the experience of the team that have been in NLW longer. And that is Billy Kidman and Sin Cara, the filthy animals, picking up a much needed victory here in this tag team division that's really getting heated up heading into Wrestlemania well there is the Northern Lights suplex they are two tremendous wrestlers there's no doubt about it however tonight they failed to get the job done and there was the arm bar that Sin Cara uses to put people away and it put away William Regal and now Finley almost berating him on the outside but I don't know what they're communicating but now the newest member of the Filthy Animals being congratulated by his teammates so then there's, oh my oh my good oh that might have been the Shaley and now a brawl has erupted and the action hasn't stopped Finley and Regal attacking the animals Lorraine Mysterio as well and, oh hang on a minute and what the hell it's the brood and what the hell are they doing Chavo and Chavo Guerrero has just been taken he's been abducted what is going on? What's happening? The brood have just taken a human being. Well, that tag team division is certainly chaotic at the minute, but speaking of chaotic, our main event is next. It is Sting versus the NWO's newest member, Shawn Michaels. That main event is coming up right now, up next. Live Saturday, November 28th from the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City. Comes an event from NLW unlike any other. Episode 37 goes extreme. The NLW Extreme Reunion from the place where ECW thrived for many years. NLW brings the action and it brings it to a whole new level. Featuring former ECW greats such as Raven, Tommy Dreamer, Lionheart Chris Jericho and many more ECW alumni and all your favourite NLW stars as well mixed in. This is Extreme Reunion live from Hammerstein Ballroom, New York City. Are you ready to get extreme?
And now we're just a week away from history. For the first time ever next week, NLW emanates from the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City. And one of the men who's going to be there for Extreme Reunion is the Sandman, former ECW heavyweight champion and the current reigning hardcore champion. He won it earlier tonight from Mr. Anderson. And he's going to have to be on his toes because it's 24-7 after all. And Hang on. Oh, and there you see. There you see Randy Orton, who last night at the Royal Rumble, where you probably know what happened. First of all, he loses to Kurt Angle. Angered by that, enters the Royal Rumble and then just assaults the man who actually returned to NLW, but I don't think we're going to be seeing him for a while, Batista. Randy Orton attacking him last night, and right now, we've got to shift our focus now for our main event. And we are very intrigued to see this matchup between two icons. And I still consider Shawn Michaels an icon, despite what he's done, despite the things he's said and how he's acted as of late. Despite the betrayal on Triple H and the entire NLW locker room last night at the Royal Rumble, he is still here tonight and he is representing the NWO. And that is a sentence I never thought I would say. And these fans are obviously heartbroken no pun intended because this is a really funny situation as we know but right now Shawn Michaels is out to prove why the NWO entrusted him and essentially put all their stocks in him but Shawn Michaels and the NWO making a deal making a pact I'm gonna see how well it pays off here tonight it's already paid off well with attacks on The Undertaker and others but then again they've suffered out some hiccups as we saw earlier tonight, Triple H just assaulting Shawn Michaels. He was meant to be the number one contender. However, that didn't quite pan out. And now, Sting not wasting any time. We're going to right after Michaels and the Sting of Splash. Not ready. Going for that death lock, but Michaels in the ropes. And Sting, obviously, very annoyed after losing his rematch for the world title at the Royal Rumble against AJ Styles. And now Michael's on the top rope and goes for the crossbody, but it is reversed. And Sting tries for the cover, but Michael's kicks out still. And now goes for a punch, and oh my. We see the death drop early on, but Michael's well with all to move it into something else. And now you can see Michael's runs at him, but sent over the top rope. And that time he crashed and burned, and we heard what the commissioner had to say. You can go out there on your own, you can do it on your own. The NWO will only interfere if needed. And he may very well need it at the moment because he's being pummeled by Sting. Sent again into those steel steps for a second time. And two former world champions here in NLW going at each other. Another punch to daze him and confuse him. And Michael's in the ring now, leaning up against the ropes, goes for a punch and another does. I don't know what I'm talking about right there, but now you can see the uppercut by Sting. Runs off the ropes, and another scorpion kick. A spinning heel kick that connects flush into the face. And that can definitely break your nose. There's no doubt about that, as Sting has him, but... Another punch, and now the axe handle. Running elbows and a kick up. But these fans boo, and rightly so, because they're not happy with the way he's acted either. But Shawn Michaels getting what's getting a taste of his own medicine, in fact. And now Sting go for a move here, but he's elbowed away. And now he is on the canvas. He's looking into the heavens. But all he sees is Shawn Michaels coming down with that elbow. And Shawn Michaels, the heartbreak kid, wants to put it away already with that super kick, that switching music. Goes for it, but he's caught out by Sting. But it is Seguri by Michaels still. And Shawn Michaels showing no respect at all. Especially after that. It's just disgusting. The way he's acted and the way he's treated these fans and... This entire NWO situation, they're not about the wrestling. They're just about making money. And now look at this. Was that wise at all? Marking Triple H there. After having himself assaulted earlier tonight. But there's a punch to send him away. And now Sting with a Bulldog. Trying to gain some momentum. Changing into another gear, but he moves out of the way for that time. And, and now the Hurricane Rana in these punches. So vicious. Just to clobber him across the head and face. And 
Now Michaels has him set up. What's he planning on doing here? But oh my! Followed by the throw and thrown over the top rope with force. And Sting and Michaels have a similar experience advantage. And now Sting firing up, but oh no! Well, here you go, strength in numbers. Commissioner's told Shawn Michaels you can have a member of the NWO if you're in trouble, and he's certainly in trouble now. Kevin Nash out here to try and save him. But now Michaels closed down again. And Sting closing down the offense of Michaels as Nash trying to will him on. But the Sting a splash in the corner. And Sting dealing with Nash. And the NWO numbers advantage is being quoted by Sting for now. But how long will that be? Oh, no. I was about to say how long will that be, but apparently not for long. And the referee is going to have to do something about this. The Big Show had him on the top rope. And the TKO from the top rope. Look at the Big Show. Just saying I'm doing nothing, but it's obvious. You're a giant for God's sake. They can see you. Oh, my. Well, both members over there failed to see that. What a boot, he may be knocked out, but again, Nash with the interference, and I don't think the referee even saw it, otherwise he would have called a DQ, but putting his foot on the ropes, and may very well not have kicked out of that move, and now you can see Sting saying, I know, I see you on the outside, but I'm going to beat up your pal in the ring, oh no, well Michaels has him caught out, and delivers a set out powerbomb, Something's got to give. What is the breaking point for Shawn Michaels and indeed Sting? Can he withstand this? He is at the moment. He catches the music. Catches the sweet chin music. But again, Nash is on the apron and just causes a nuisance. But oh my! It's the Undertaker! And the Undertaker's in to get revenge after being assaulted earlier tonight. The Raw Humble winner. We were full around the big show, but Nash... Big Show and our truth attacking him now. And Michaels is in the ring, wanting to go for a pole driver of some sort. But hang on! It's the game! Well, they found him! And Triple H wanting revenge and in the ring, it is Sting with the death lock. Triple H betrayed last night and earlier tonight getting revenge by casting Michaels a number one contender spot. But now you can see the pressure being applied and the onslaught on the outside and True trying to distract Sting and I think he did. He rolls him through and oh for God's sake. The distraction from the outside brawl and Sting loses. Shawn Michaels picking up a victory over Sting. And Triple H realizes what's just happened and now he's going after Michaels but Michaels scurries away like a little coward just a little bitch I'm sorry but you know what I could sling worse names at him they're not too PG but Shawn Michaels the coward that he is running away and well Undertaker tried to help things out for Sting and then Triple H did also True tried to interfere by distracting Sting but it was effective Michaels managed to roll through that Scorpion Deathlock into the pin and Sting unfortunately couldn't get out of it nevertheless there oh hang on oh for god's sake the match is over damn it and now all members of the NWO just attacking these three guys the match is over you've proved your point is there any need for this oh and the lights have lights have gone out oh my god it's Kane Kane is making a way for the ring! And now Kane, who also returned at the Rumble last night! He's just assaulting the NWO! Oh my! Well, he pissed off the wrong demon, my friend! And the Commissioner begging with him! But a tombstone to the Intercontinental Champion! And just like that, the NWO are caught off guard! Well, they couldn't. 
stay rampant for too long without a little resistance. The army has been built and assembled and the NWO are looking into the eyes of the resistance.